So first option is an Asagai front DHR2 in the rear, always, go to, dream setup. Um, sometimes, if we feel like we need a little bit of extra rolling speed, we might go DHR front and rear. If it rains, we'll go shorties. But you kind of need mudders on, there's a heap of rocks, rocks here, so I don't think we'll ever put a shorty on. Um, but yeah, same ones as yesterday, Asagai front, DHR2 on the rear. 24 in the front and 26 on the rear if it's dry and then if it's wet we'll drop it down to around 24 on the rear 22 in the front the test pilot scheme is well the first rule about the test pilot scheme is that you don't talk about the test pilot scheme <laughs> Asagai is in a 2.5 um, DHR2 we have available in 2.4 and 2.5 um, we tend to prefer the 2.4 on the rear because the overall size, like the volume, is 3 mil less on the 2.4. Um, so it just helps just drop the rear axle and set the bike down a little bit. Um, this week we only have two fives in a twist of events, so we're uh, running those for now. Got some two fours on the way. So I was uh, got some messages from Miriam Nicol last night because. The second track, I think, has got a lot of change, so it's going to be quite tough uh, finishing finals tomorrow and having a look at the track and trying to get back into it. But we have got a full day to practice where it looks like maybe a good 40% of the tracks change, and it's going to be a big change too. It's going to be quite technical. It's not going to be just a simple change. So. You know, I don't know. I'm a big fan of more races, so if it means we've got to do more doubles, then let's do it. Rebound clickers are depends on low speed depends on temperature a little bit and conditions, but usually around five. And high speed usually around six, but again dependent on a few other things. We don't we don't deviate too much in rebound unless there's like it's really slippery or really hot. So generally five and six. The pressure does vary quite a bit. Right now he's on 90. Um, but he can go up as far as 95, 96. Uh, and he could go as low as like 88, I would say. We get it serviced at the, on the track walk day of every race. So it's always the same basically um, and then other than that we kind of only go if we have an issue which is pretty rare um, Luke is a kind of he has a base depending on the sort of style of the track and then we don't really he's not he's more of a tweaker than like a wholesale change person we've got a few different base settings and a few different shocks and then we just yeah crack on We're going to the start line to warm up for qualifying. Again, day two. But it's good because it's at the top, so there's no fucking around with chairlifts. We're just chilling. Get to the top, send him down, come back here. Doors. We've got Finn in first, Lucas Shaw in second. Didn't see who third was. Um, there's a bit of green on the on track. Shaw, I think. Straight into a tree pin. Oh, I got up to keep going, but she got. Yeah. 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 
slipped in a route in that first like fast wood, which is quite narrow. Um, slipped in a route and basically just went head first into a tree. Sort of sounds like you took it like in here. Um, but you are trucking through there, so. Says something doesn't feel right. I'm no doctor, nothing sticking out the skin, so. <laughs> but um, yeah, we'll get him checked out and see where he's up, but tomorrow's gonna be interesting, I think. Just been riding so bad in practice. And I was finally able to just like focus on riding and just with the adrenaline, like didn't think about my wrist so much. So yeah, somehow like just got off the brakes and it worked out. Like didn't feel like I had an amazing run, but obviously like not too bad. So yeah, really surprised to be honest. So yeah, we'll take it.